hey everyone welcome back to another video and welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's just get straight into this video so in today's video i thought i would try out some tiktok nail hacks these nail hacks are supposed to save you time and a little bit of effort when doing your nails and i thought these were really cool so i decided to give them a go on my channel and i also am using pretty much all of madam glam's products today so you can use my discount code on screen if you would like to so i'm just going ahead and applying a little bit of base coat to my nails this is the madam glam base coat and this is the first nail hack so basically if you don't have nail glue you can dip your nail tip in acetone and hold it there for a couple seconds and then basically apply that to the nail tip and i think this works because the acetone kind of melts the plastic a little bit and as that acetone evaporates the plastic kind of just adheres to the nail so i was really interested to see if this actually worked so i'm going to be pouring some acetone in my dampen dish and just pick out your nail tips whatever nail tips that you usually use i'm just going to go ahead and try the thumb and you just basically want to dip the nail tip in there for about 7 to 10 seconds that's what the video said however i did find that you probably have to hold it in there a little bit longer if your acetone isn't very um very strong so as i went to put the nail tip on i was a little bit skeptical and at first this didn't work too great um, and I think that's just because I was probably wearing base coat and I didn't notice that in the video I kind of just From my normal routine. I just ended up applying that base and I think that really affected this method. However After letting go um, and I realized it wasn't working I just ended up dipping the nail tip for a little bit longer maybe for another 10 seconds and I felt like it worked a little bit better because I was getting some adhesion but at this point I just felt like this method was taking way too long and the person in the TikTok video did not have to wait this long for the nail tip to stick so I just kind of scrapped this method and I ended up using a different method to apply my tips I will be using gel but before applying gel I wanted to use a different TikTok nail hack um this has actually been done before it's not really that new but i haven't seen many people try it out with poly gel so what you basically do is you cut down your nail tips to whatever length you want and you kind of prep them before anything and then what you want to do is instead of applying them straight to your fingers you actually apply them to a nail stand and then apply your poly gel that way that way you get more control and this is such a good way to apply poly gel especially if you're doing your non-dominant hand which i definitely was so this hack actually worked amazing so i'm going ahead and priming the nail tips first it's really important that when you use any gel based products that you have a kind of etched or matte surface so i am just taking my nail buffer and buffing away the shine from the nail tips and then you want to have a nail stand or something you can stick your nail tips onto you could use the back of the hand the back of a brush i mean um, if you don't have a nail stand but i have a nail stand so i feel like this worked best if you're going to do this on super long nails try to stack up your nail stands per nail that way you can get better control and the nail tip doesn't kind of like fling off which is super annoying so as you would you just want to apply your base coat this is the madam glam base and you want to cure this for about 60 seconds as well So next, I went ahead and I grabbed my favorite Madame Glam Poly Gel. This is Dahlia. It's like a beautiful nude pink shade. It's honestly my favorite nude pink shade. And I'm just taking the Madame Glam Poly Gel brush and some of that acetone that I used in the beginning of the video. And I'm going to use this to just basically pat my poly gel out i'm just doing my normal poly gel routine i'm not building an apex i'm not making the nail super thick i'm keeping everything relatively thin kind of like anywhere between a thin kind of nail to a medium kind of nail you don't want this to be too thick especially where you will be adhering the nail tip to your natural nail because 
the light from the nail lamp is not going to be able to penetrate through that thick poly gel so that's going to cause an issue when you're trying to stick that nail tip onto your natural nail plate so just bear that in mind when doing this method since you will have issues if you apply a really thick layer to that kind of area so the way i like to apply my poly gel is pretty simple i just kind of pat pat and pat and then once the poly gel is exactly where i need it to be i kind of load my brush up with whatever it is i'm using it could be slip solution or base coat and i use that as like a smoothing layer and that really helps to just finish off the application for that nail and i always use this method it's honestly so easy and so simple but this Madame Glam poly gel specifically is really easy to work with. Sometimes you will get poly gels that are super sticky or just very kind of thin, almost like a really, really, really thick builder gel consistency, but it doesn't quite work when you try to work it as a poly gel. I don't know, it's kind of frustrating sometimes to have those kind of poly gels because it just doesn't work out and your brush will stick to it so make sure that you're using some good quality poly gels if you haven't checked out the madam glam poly gel range i definitely recommend that you check them out so this nail hack is supposed to kind of speed up your time when doing your non-dominant hand and i really felt like this technique was really helpful because I was able to get such a smooth and easy application that I would not been able to have achieved with my um, left hand which is my non-dominant hand. You will see me trying to buff later on and even that looks super awkward so yeah I'm really grateful for whoever thought of this method um, and yeah it just really is something that I use when I try to do my non-dominant hand especially when I'm using nail tips. Something that I thought would be really interesting to try would be um, a builder gel kind of method where you can kind of use this technique with builder gel I haven't seen anyone use it yet and so that might actually be something that I try out in a future video but I'm not huge on builder gel but I definitely do love how quick it is as well so now I'm just removing that sticky layer the madam glam's the Madame Glam poly gels actually do not have a super sticky layer. You could even get away with not wiping it, but just to be on the safe side, I just ended up wiping it and I then cured my nails after applying some base coat. I of course did apply base coat to my left hand, but since that other hack didn't work in the beginning, I am having to just apply that base coat on my right hand now. So I'm using the Madame Glam little mini light that you get from like their Christmas collection I believe and I'm just using that to basically attach my nail tips onto my nails and I'm just using the base coat. You can use even um, the um, like the Madame Glam builder gels for this but I feel like base coat works just fine. So as you can see once I applied those tips my nails were looking pretty good. The shape was looking pretty good already and the poly gel honestly looked pretty smooth as well i feel like this was is a hack that's gonna save me a lot of time especially when filing um because yeah like i said i'm not very good at like buffing and filing my non-dominant hat i just don't do it often and i think that's why so then of course you want to get that same poly gel and basically apply your cuticle bead slash nail bed bead and depending on your nail bed length and size, you will, you should be able to do this with one bead. I was really satisfied with the first nail that I did because it just looked so good for my non-dominant hand. Um, and the application process as well was just really, really easy, which is another reason why I love the Madame Glam poly gels. Um, if you haven't tried them out, again, check it out in the description box down below. And don't forget to use my discount code CAMIN30 to save 30% off. And that one is not an affiliate link. So I did do two nails at a time and I did cure just in case I messed something up. But for the most part, this was super easy. I did find that I was getting quite a bit of that acetone on my skin um however i guess since it's my non-dominant hand it should be okay of course it does take a lot of practice to get that non-dominant hand application perfect but with this hack i feel like i saved definitely a lot of time and effort so i'm just finishing that up and i just really love the shade you guys let me know what you think in the comments this is definitely one of my favorite nude shades i love like a good pinky nude 
but once that was almost done i did cure the nails again for another 60 seconds with the madame glam led nail lamp um, especially the mini ones you do have to press twice to get it on the 60 second timer on the first press it's 45 and on the second press it's 60. So since this video was just getting super, super long, I did end up filing off camera. I just used a 100 grit hand file and then I removed the dust. And this nail hack is from Anna Acrylix. She basically uses cuticle oil to buff her nails to remove the scratches. And that's what I'm basically gonna try. I did try this before. Um, I think I had tried it on like one finger, but I didn't have time to actually look at the nails properly. It was just kind of like a little demo that I did. And I was really eager to try this out again. I have really high hopes for this one because sometimes you could be there buffing all day and those scratches will still be there after you top coat. So I'm applying a good layer of oil. I don't know how much I was supposed to apply. Something tells me I've applied way too much. But anyway, um, I'm buffing very awkwardly and as I kept buffing, I found that the nail just looked better and better. I know that's what buffing is supposed to do, but this nail just ended up looking smooth really quickly. It definitely saves time and there you go. I did like a first feel and that felt incredibly smooth already. Um, I'm not using too much pressure as well. I feel like this would be such a cool hack to try on a clear set of nails or even aquarium nails where everything has to be super glass like so yeah this hack definitely did work um i feel like it did also save time and effort because i feel like i would be buffing for way longer if it wasn't for the oil the oil kind of just helped smooth everything over it helped everything to just look all nice and even as well so i was really happy with this hack so for our next nail hack, this is going to be a French tip nail hack. So what the person basically did was put a bit of white polish or any colored polish of your choice into a nail tip and you kind of want to slide it down from the free edge of the nail. She did this on super short nails and mine were really, really long compared to hers. So I was actually not sure how this would work, but upon trying it, I wasn't too surprised. This hack, I would say did kind of work but not for all the nails and you'll see why so this is my thumb and i did put in a good amount of the polish i probably could have used less but i don't think that made a huge difference on my first swipe i thought to myself that this could potentially work the actual smile line part of the nail tip wasn't actually giving me the shape that i needed but this hack was definitely able to get me to create and save time on doing my French tips overall. So I did wipe the nail and I did try again. And I feel like I was getting better. However, it just wasn't working too good for my thumb. I feel like this was the best I could get it. And so I moved on. As for this next finger, it worked really good. I'm not sure why. I think it's because this nail tip just fit really perfectly for this nail. And as you can see, it worked pretty decent. Of course, do bear in mind she did do hers on short nails so her kind of smile line was a little bit straighter it wasn't so deep but you can always go in with a nail brush and fix that up which i will show you and in doing so i actually realized that it did actually save me a lot of time compared to actually having to map out how i want my smile line and how deep i want my french tip to be so I would still say this was a good nail hack even though it didn't work out super super good I feel like this will definitely help a lot of people who are beginners to kind of get a guide or some kind of outline as to where to place their French tip and you'll see why in a minute because when I go in with the brush it I was able to create my French tip a lot easier by just simply drawing two lines by the side walls and kind of connecting that up towards the cuticle area so as you can see i ended up grabbing my favorite liner brush from madame glam this is their ultra liner brush and you can find this on their website or buy it as a set and this i just ended up using to fill in the sides of course the nail tip didn't get these side walls super good as you can tell but once you kind of start to draw your french tip a little deeper it kind of just comes together a lot quicker than you having to actually draw it out from scratch 
so yeah this uh, nail hack actually i would say does save time and it does work so definitely give this a go if you're struggling with your french tips of course you can go in with a cleanup brush and clean up any mistakes however um, by the time I was finished I was pretty satisfied with the French tips and I didn't feel like I needed to clean anything up so I just ended up curing the nails for about 60 seconds. Something else that I would like to mention is that don't be afraid to add too much of the white because if you add too little it won't actually do anything if that makes sense. The main focus of this nail hack is to kind of fill in or create as much of your French tip as possible so if you can at least get the kind of tip area to be filled in all white that's already going to save you a lot of time and all you have to do is basically just fill in the sides. So I'm really happy I found this next nail hack. I don't know if you guys have tried it out, but you guys definitely need to. This is basically a way of kind of going over the French tip you already created, kind of like doing a second coat. So basically what the person did is they basically painted over their already existing French tip. You can do this very messy as you can see, of course, don't be afraid to go over. And then what you basically want to do is get a cleanup brush, preferably a round one to kind of help create that nice smooth round smile line and just clean up that excess. And what I like about this is that you can go over to kind of make your French tip look a little bit more narrow or you can just remove a little extra. It's kind of nice because you can kind of just change up your smile line or fix any errors that you did on the first coat. So this hack was definitely a big yes for me. It definitely, definitely saves time. Um, the only thing I would say is be careful with the white. Don't apply too much. Um, like don't apply a super thick layer because otherwise you will get wrinkling and yeah just kind of practice try not to wipe away too much as well because you do want the second coat to be as even as possible but other than that as you can see i was getting through this so quick and it was just working amazing so after i was pretty confident with what i had to do i just did all the nails in one go as you can see i apply it pretty messy and the cleanup process is actually kind of satisfying so um, I'm just making sure to get that smile line really good. If you get any on your skin, which I definitely did, just clean it up with the acetone or some rubbing alcohol and you'll be all good to go. But for the most part, you just basically have to paint and clean up. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below which one of these hacks was your favorite. For me, it definitely has to be this hack and the poly gel application hack where you apply the poly gel on the tip first and then kind of stick that onto your nails. I think those two are definitely a big game changer for me because I'm not good at applying on my non-dominant hand. I'm very confident with, a, uh, with poly gel, however, being able to use that poly gel application method means that I actually saved a lot of time on my filing, which is usually the worst part for me when it comes to doing my non-dominant hand. And that's usually so frustrating because I will always have one nail, at least one that isn't even because of the shape or because of the length, it's slightly off. So I feel like this hack was definitely my favorite. So don't forget to leave that comment down below. I would love to know what you guys thought of these hacks. And of course, don't forget to check out these original videos on the people who have created them. I have made sure to leave their TikTok handles in the videos. So if you want to go back and look for the person, just go back in this video and pause where you see their TikTok handle and then just go give them a like or a follow or whatever it is you need to do. So just to top off the nail set, I thought I would quickly just throw in the easiest nail art ever. I'm using the Madame Glam um, gel liner. I don't remember what shade this is. I will have it, everything that I've used in this video in the description box down below, as well as all my discount codes for Madame Glam. So don't forget to check that out. But this was just a really simple kind of abstract kind of nail art. I really love this blue, especially for the springtime 
um, but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below Then of course you want to finish up the nail set with your favorite top coat, you can do matte or shiny. I decided to do the Madame Glam No Wipe and I'm just applying a nice layer of this. And then of course don't forget to go in with your cuticle oil as well. I do love the Madame Glam Elixir cuticle oil. It's one of my favorite oils and it always helps to kind of give my fingers a bit of life especially during the winter season where my nails are super dry or even that transition into spring where my nails are still kind of dry. So don't forget to oil your cuticles and rub that in really well every time you do a nail set and of course don't forget to apply cuticle oil at least once a day. So here is the finished look. I've really enjoyed this nail set. I think this looks super good for my non-dominant hand. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think these hacks were amazing. They definitely saved me so much time and were very easy to follow and do. So don't forget to try out these nail hacks if you're also struggling like me. And here are the nails in some different shots. I thought I would show you guys what the nails look like in like really close harsh lighting and here's what they look like in natural lighting. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!